Let me put this into perspective for you. These tanks are one of a kind, Heiko Blair creations. These are priceless. And we're just taking them apart and taking them all the way over there and putting them back together and hoping everything goes good. Wait, what did you say? The important thing is without breaking. Them. Okay. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape, and I am sitting outside of our old fish retailing area. Now, the reason I call it our old fish retailing area is because right now, we are about to get started on building a brand new state-of-the-art facility for our fish. It's not there was anything wrong with our old facility. It was just kind of tired and, and old, and something I know with retail is we always have to give our customers a different shopping experience, and this next one's gonna be awesome. So we're actually taking this system, building an entire new system inside. The other reason we're doing this is because Greg Whitstock actually took a trip out to Japan, which is where Koi were originated from, hand selected a bunch of fish that people can buy in our new facility over there. If you want to actually see Greg's shopping experience, click on the link below. So we have to have that whole area reconstructed and ready so when those fish show up, they have an unbelievable home. All right, so we're walking into our retail store. Now the main reason we built this was really to inspire people, right? I wanted to give them kind of a vibe of outside, inspire, educate, motivate. As you walk through, you'll see all different types of features. This is a pondless waterfall. We've got a turtle pond over here. But as you walk through the store, you're gonna see all types of different features. We have a very unique fountainscape over here using our stack slate walls and a combination of our patio bowls. As you come past the main retail desk, you're going to see all these little cool baby turtles. Really neat. These things are actually hatched in this store. But as you continue to move through, you're going to see different features. We've got a small little ecosystem pond over here. There's a larger pond over in here. I love this area a lot. In fact, I'm very proud of the way Rob, our retail store manager, maintains this space. And we're going to leave this area as is. The area I'm talking about is just beyond those doors. So before we get started on building everything, we have to deconstruct the whole space that's back there. There's different ponds, there's fish tanks, there's lizards, there's snakes. We turtles all kinds of stuff but rather than me showing you guys how we do that let me turn it over to Chris and Nick as they start deconstructing this whole space what's up everybody out there Chris here at team aquascape it's a beautiful winter day here in Chicagoland this year in our off season we are going to be taking our retail area um, kind of an extension of our retail store here inside Aqualand we've got all kinds of stuff we've got a turtle pond behind me we've got some of our enclosures we've got some of the biotopes over here but this whole area used to be a product overflow for our retail store we are going to be ripping everything out of here and creating a one-of-a-kind unique fish retailing experience for you guys so as you can see guys we have a lot of work ahead of us to get this entire area cleaned out so that we can give ourselves a blank canvas so that we can create that beautiful experiential one-of-a-kind unique setting where customers can come in see the fish interact with the fish and hopefully purchase some fish check it out so one of the first things that we have to do in order to get this project started with our animal enclosures and our fish retailing area is clear the space out and rehome the animals that were here. What we're doing right now is we're moving fish tanks around and it's actually way more of a process than you would think. Oh man, so it looks like you guys already got one of the tanks that were sitting over here. Whoa, wait, wait, what was that look on your face? Eee. Was it as hard or as difficult as we thought it was gonna be? It was 100% more difficult than we thought it was gonna be. 100% more difficult? More difficult. Jeez, all right. Let me put this into perspective for you. These tanks are one of a kind, Heiko Blair Creations, which is a gentleman who's the foremost freshwater fish species leader expert yeah. mm -hmm. expert yep. in the world these are priceless and we're just taking them apart and taking them all the way over there and putting them back together and hoping everything goes good without breaking wait wait what did you say the important thing is without breaking them. okay so what kind of important how the hell are we not going to break these things because like nick said these things are one of a kind pieces of art put together by Heiko Blair. These biotopes are, they're priceless, especially to the pond guy himself. So it is our duty to make sure that these things go back together the same way we found them. Some of the challenges, and I'm gonna have Nick explain it to you. These things can break very, very easily. If yeah, they. Watch. Yeah. Let me just go get a hammer and show you. But look at these seams, guys. If we twist these things, maybe torque them the way Nick likes to twerk, you know? Mm-hmm. 
but we can put a little pinhole or a little crack, right, Nick? Just by a simple one guy's lifting too much or yep. too little. So we have to be very, very, very careful. What would you say the approximate weight of these things are after you get 75% of the water out of here? It's like right about a metric shit ton. A metric shit ton, okay, perfect. Once we get the water down here, there's still probably 500 pounds. Easily. Yeah. It took all four of us to lift that first one, and it's just really seamless moves, careful as we can be. Like he said, priceless, but not only priceless, but priceless to the pond guy himself. So I don't want to have anything to do with these things. If something goes wrong, I'm out. <laughs> Nick's out. So the first step is just get all the water out. So we'll have what, two guys on each end hopefully, right Nick? And then we'll and then we'll try and get them on these furniture dollies and then we're gonna roll them all the way down through the warehouse and then into the cafeteria. You can follow us there. Oh, perfect. So as you can see behind me, the guys are putting the water that we took out of the tank to move it back in. It's super important that that happens because this water is well established, very well seasoned. This is the home water for those fish. If we were to discard that water and put all new fresh water in, it would be like a shock to the system for the fish. I can't tell you all the nerdery of it, but I know a guy who can. So we're gonna bring in Ed the Pond Professor to do that. And here we go. Uh... Okay, like he said, that's how it happens. As promised, here he is back here, the man, the pond professor, Ed Ballou. Ed, why don't you give us a little breakdown on why it's so important for us to keep that original water that comes out of the tanks. So the original water that came out of the tank has been cycled. Fish tanks, ponds, and things like that, they have to go through a cycling period. And basically what it means is fish produce ammonia out their gills uh, as a waste product after they consume high protein foods. That ammonia pound, compound goes into the water and if it builds up, it becomes toxic and will kill everything. What happens is you build up bacteria that actually feed on the ammonia. They turn it from ammonia into nitrite, then into nitrate, and then the nitrate can be utilized by aquatic plants, by algae. What has happened on these uh, biosystems that we created? These tanks have been cycled already. So all the bacteria, all the enzymes, all the stuff, all that good stuff that's living inside the water, we don't want to get rid of it. We want to take it and we want to reuse it because it's going to be much healthier for the fish. In a nutshell, right? Folks, we're obviously blessed to have the Pond Professor as a huge resource to us. Don't forget to check out his channel, Ed the Pond Professor. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. If you have, you are smarter than I. Hi right, boys. Hmm? Last one. All right guys, I just got word that the biotope aquariums have been completely moved and more importantly than completely moved, set back up into our cafeteria area over here at Aquascape. Well, I see Mr. Hansen. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Looks like he's resting. Let's hope it's lunchtime. Yep, there's the man. Hey, Chris. Hey. <laughs> it actually looks awesome. You like it? Look at how much it transforms this whole space. What did we have before? There was that tank was right there in the center and there was that chair and that's it. This whole space just had that little tank right there in the center in a single chair. No, this looks really good. I really love how this wrapped around the corner. This is a good idea. I think we can take that to another level, which would be fun to show everybody. You think we did an okay job of bringing, kind of transferring the energy of these like works of art back into, I guess, the cafeteria, but nice a nice little lounge area now to kind of stick with the theme of the rest of Aquascape. Well, it's definitely a lounge area because I see you lounging. I'm learning about, about night fish. I wasn't really sure what we were going to do with these three tanks, and we had talked about this area being kind of a dead space, and we're always looking to repurpose some stuff, and these are priceless, so I think we did okay. The question is, not so much what do you think, what do the viewers think out there? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> My opinion it slowly doesn't matter anymore, but no, I love it. I actually love like the ambience out of the whole area. I like how it's dark back in here compared to back in here, which just, to me, invites you to want to come back and sit in that space. Yeah, it's really cool. And the tanks look incredible. Yeah, that's a cool tank. I love all the plants, just kind of the roots hanging down in the bottom there. Really awesome. That one needs some help. <laughs> All angel fisher, I think probably still a little scared. Yeah, it turned out not bad. I love it. Look at the shimmery marks all over the wall. And the ceiling. Oh yeah, look at that. 
not completely done. You said you were completely done, but uh, we need another piece of furniture, a couple rugs, and uh, maybe an updated library. I think that one book is from 1992. There might be a new publication. We got the Pondo Bible <laughs> on that table. All right, Chris, so just do your thing. So make sure you guys let us know what you think um, in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. If you're not already subscribed, hit that little bell or hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified of all the new content we're coming out with. Thanks again for watching. Till next time.